Hey guys, today we're checking out Odin Valhalla Rising. If you guys don't know what Odin Valhalla Rising is, it's an MMORPG open or free to play game that was launched in Korea last year. And this game has an absolutely amazing hype because it looked absolutely crisp, guys. I'm talking high quality from the trailers to the game itself. It's a massive open world where you get to use flying mounts, climb mountains, which is very unique at that time when they first launched the game. And now it is going to be coming out globally. Now this game is developed by Lionheart Studios, but it's being published by Kakao Games. And Kakao Games have some absolute bangers coming out uh, MMO wise this year and next year. So let's jump into it. Let's check out what Odin Valhalla Rising is all about. And if you guys should check it out or not. So make sure you guys give me a thumbs up and let's jump into today's video. So like you can probably tell by the name, Odin Valhalla Rising is based on Norse mythology. So you will have bosses and NPCs that will be like Odin, that will be like Thor, and uh, you will explore that storyline. What I really like about this game is that it is rocking the fantasy art style. It's no anime art style, you know, there's been a lot of anime art style games these days, but finally we're getting one that has the old fantasy MMO. RPG art style, amazing looking dragons, amazing looking characters, you know. So uh, it's about time. I did play the beta when this game launched in Korea. Uh, I played it on an emulator, but finally we're going to get a global launch this year, quarter four. That is confirmed. Okay, so uh, probably going to be a beta before that. Now, when it comes to the game itself, this game does have a holy trinity, guys. So you guys don't have to worry. You guys are like, oh my God, is the game going to have a holy trinity? Yes, you will be able to play a healer or a paladin and shield. Now, every single class has two subclasses. So, for example, the healer, as you can see, has a priest subclass and a paladin subclass. So, you'll be able to play a full support healer if you're used to playing a healer in most games. You will have the ability. I know a lot of MMOs these days just want everybody to be a DPS, but in this game, they have the Holy Trinity. Like, for example, with this class, you will have be able to be dual blades assassin or a bow player. So if you use a playing range bow, you can play that. If you play dagger or uh, dual blades or assassin, whatever you guys want to call it, you can play that. The Holy Trinity is very important these days, guys, to, in my opinion, because that makes the dungeons way more fun, the PP way more fun, the war bosses way more fun when you can actually have a tank that aggros, a healer that heals and supports, and then the DPS, of course. So you will be able to have those. There will be uh, two classes for each one so in total there's going to be eight classes that you guys can choose between so saying go for the mage and the mage looks good like oh my god this class looks good very nice looking class but this one will also have like a necromancer skill and a fire ice mage you know uh the typical mage or go with a necromancer so classes you guys have a lot of classes to choose between so you guys do not have to worry about that now this game also We'll have character customization, guys. We love character customization. It's very important these days. And you will have the character customization. You can design the character. You can choose the hair you want. You style you want. Build your own characters. You can role play in this game. Because it's an MMORPG. So you don't have to worry about that. You can get nice customization. And later in the game, I'll show you guys. There's some really nice sick outfits too. So they also have a thickness slider, guys. For those that need that. I need that, I know but you have a thickness slider so you can move around the sliders design your character like you want so you won't be looking like everybody else in this game thankfully now i don't know i saw that the classes might be a little gender lock so hopefully they fix that but overall the character and the customization looks absolutely amazing the classes look amazing and the game looks amazing so far but that is not it the game of course when i first played it okay in the beta all all beta the game did feel a little clunky, I have to say. I have to. I haven't played it since then, so it'll be interesting to see how much they have changed. I must have updated the game since then because it did feel a little clunky. The skills they use, there are skill shots, and uh, I don't think you can move while attacking on most of the classes, uh, unfortunately. But you do need. There are skill shots, so you have to actually uh, properly use your skills. They have aggro skills. They have chain skills. They have CC skills. Uh, but uh, overall, I wasn't super like blown away with the combat that I was expecting to do. But that is the one thing that I have to say that Odin Valhalla was lacking in was the combat uh, that they had could have probably worked on by now. You know, we never know when the global launch comes out. We'll know more or the beta comes out. I will, of course, make some more videos on it. But other than that, uh, the beta was yeah, very fun to play. 
uh, when I first tried it. It was in Korean, so I didn't know much. You know me, I got I just walk around, test out the game, test out the clunkiness of it. Uh, and uh, it didn't run too well on the emulator, but hopefully when they're now they're going to most likely release a PC client with it because that's the new norm now. You release a mobile version and then you release a PC version. But uh, it's an MMORPG that I am looking forward to. I think it's it's well made for mobile and I think Kakao Games, they actually think about the Western audience before they publish it because recently you guys know the generic Korean MMORPG they're super pay to win but i think they're tuning it down with that and recently we have seen that we still get a pay to win version but not as hard as uh the games are when they're first in korea so hopefully we get like a better version a more chill version now for the content in this game there will be wall bosses there will be dungeons and they will also of course be pvp so in this game you will have the ability to do mass pvp with your players and really nice about the pvp this game is you can see the icons of the other players around you healers tanks whatever they're playing which is cool i like that uh mass pvp of course mass pvp battles guild battles uh there's gonna be solar uh, arena battles too for small time pvp but this game does have the content that you guys are looking for in a mmorpg okay it's not just a game that looks amazing it also has content now looking at the i took a look at the shop last time i played this game and this game does have a little bit of pay to win and I am not sure how balanced or if the arenas are balanced at all. So that will be interesting to see when they actually launch the game. This game has very high potential, I have to say. Uh, but they have to make sure that they adapt the game to the Western audience. Because if they don't, if they're just really the same game, it's not going to uh, be a big hit. It has the potential to be a big hit. But they have to be careful. That's a smart about it. So hopefully they do that. And hopefully we can get a very good game. Uh, that people can be looking forward to because overall game looks great it is a game that i will be willing to play if it is done right and released to western audience now looking at away from the combat looking away from the content looking at the customization and the mounts the mounts in this game look stunning okay they have dragon you guys know i love dragons so they have flying dragons that you guys can get but the mounts do come with stats a small amount of stats uh so it'll be interesting to see if these will be pay to win or not but the mounts look absolutely incredible. I'm very excited about uh, the, the mounts function and the costume function in this game because it is done well. It is done right. So they have put in some time. They have put in some effort in making this game. It's not just like a typical generic MMORPG. It does have some Korean generic MMORPG functions for sure. But it is a well-designed game. It is a game that is designed to last. So hopefully it will last and hopefully it will look very good. So again, the mounts in this game looks absolutely incredible. You guys know I'm a big fan of dragons. So and if you just add a dragon in the game, which looks good, not the typical gene generic uh, uh, ch Korean MMO dragons, but actually proper looking dragons like this game, I'm a big fan of it. So it doesn't hurt, you know, having a good looking uh, mounts, good looking uh, stuff is always just a plus. And the costumes in this game, guys, the costumes. You guys know I love playing my female character and designing my female character. And this game has all the character and uh, the customization that you guys are looking for okay we have look at these outfits guys look at them we have these amazing looking outfits clean with it okay you guys can look amazing high quality pretty outfits which is very important in my opinion so there's going to be a lot of content this is just like from the beta release launch date so they will be adding way more stuff and they probably did too uh in the game but that is it for odin valhalla rising guys let me know what you guys think about the game did you guys play the korean beta or did you have you guys played it because you can play this if you guys really want to play this game right now you can get the apk and you can play the korean version right now check out if you guys want to check out the game see how it feels how it works how it goes you guys have the ability to do that right now but i am the uh, confirmed launch date is quarter four so it could be anywhere from august to december uh, but it is coming out globally this year the beta will probably come out quarter three maybe maybe even earlier uh, you could probably just go and pre-register already if you guys want to again it is getting published by kakao games which ha they have a lot of games i'm going to be covering all the games uh that they have uh planned 
because they have some great games coming out this year and next year. So I'm very excited for that. Odin Valhalla Rising. Will you guys be checking out? I'm giving this game overall uh, a 7 out of 10. Uh, but it has the potential to be a higher rated game than a 7 out of 10. But thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe. Check out this video right here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.